Hi everyone. As a project manager, it is important to be able to ensure that you have accurate time and cost estimates. Today, we're gonna to look at a technique called PERT, Program Evaluation and Review Technique. This technique has been used by the US Navy since the 1950s and is still very common today. When you're in the planning phase and have broken your work breakdown structure as low as it can possibly go, it's called the work package level. That would be the lowest level of your work breakdown structure. This is the point at which you can begin to estimate cost and activity durations. I cover work breakdown structure and creating one on a different video. However, this is a visual of one for building a bicycle. And I wanna draw your attention to the lowest level of this work breakdown structure. You will see that as part of testing 1.6.4, we have that broken into three different work packages, component testing, product testing, and customer testing. This is the level at where you would want to come up with your duration and your cost estimates. PER is a great technique for making time and cost estimate when there's a high level of uncertainty. And so there's risk associated with certain work packages or activities and you know that you're going to need a range of either durations or cost in order to be more accurate. PER uses three point estimation for an activity's duration, and it uses a weighted average looking at three different things. One being the most optimistic time. And so if everything goes as perfect as can be, this is going to be your most optimistic time estimate. The second one is the most likely time estimate. This is where we think it's going to be right around this time frame. We know that we may encounter a little snag here and there, most likely time estimate. Pessimistic is the worst case scenario. Something goes terribly wrong and it takes a lot longer for you to accomplish something than you originally would like for it to. Here's the PERT formula. The way that it works, you take the most optimistic time, you add it to the most likely time, which is weighted by four, and you add that to the most pessimistic time, and then you calculate that number and divide it by six. This equals your per estimate. Let's look at an example here at how we can calculate PERT. You'll start to see that it can be more accurate than using a single point estimate. If we were using a single point estimate, we might say, okay, well, we need to create the designs. We think it's going to take somewhere around 80 hours. That's a single point estimate for time. Per, however, using the formula that I just showed you, let's go ahead and calculate this out. So we take 70, our most optimistic. We add that to our most likely, which is again weighted by four. 80 times four equals 320. And then we add on our most pessimistic or worst case scenario, which is 105 hours. Once we add those three numbers up, they equal 495. And then when we divide them by six, we get 82.5 hours. So you can see comparing the PERT estimate, which is 82.5 hours, to the single point estimate, which is 80 hours, it's a bit more accurate. And this is the main goal of using PERT, which is that three point estimation technique. You can also use PERT for cost. And it's a very similar formula here. You will see that you take your most optimistic cost and add that to your most likely cost, which is again, weighted by four. You add that to your most pessimistic cost, and then you divide that number by six. That's how you get your PERT three-point estimate when you're using this on cost. Thank you again for joining me today. My name is Candace Porter. If you like this project management channel, I encourage you to subscribe. I would love to have you join me to continue to explore